a look what's here new transistors for this guy um, yeah they finally came and now I have to try my best to desolder the old ones from the board and put in these but before I'm doing that I'm gonna measure them on my trusty transistor tester over here uh, to see if they are actually uh, working because it would be kind of dumb to put some of them in that don't work okay so we have it set up transistor in here transistor, uh, transistor tester you can't see shit but yeah there it, it's a transistor <laughs> npn that's it so yay at least one of them works let's put in the second one again see npn yay and it even has the same pinout so and also the same uh, HFE, whatever that means. I guess it means the amplification value. With 30, that's kind of low, but okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to look it up in the data sheet um, to also get the right pinout to verify everything. <coughs> and then I'm going to desolder those. I'm going to put these ones in. And yeah. Then I'm gonna film again to tell you if it works or if it doesn't. Finally, I got them in, the new ones, and you see it looks like shit. Because my soldering iron tip is a piece of crap. It's just like, what solder? And I'm not going to touch this and or heat anything up because I'm a stupid piece of shit tip. But yeah, I, I got it in. And... Basically all my solder tools are a piece of shit. Like this doesn't do anything. The wherever I threw it, the fucking solder wick here, this piece of shit doesn't work either. The tip doesn't work, nothing works. But I fucking got it in and I hope it's holding now and I hope I didn't grill the parts cuz that would be kind of shitty. So I'm going to take three cables and solder them onto it test it again with the component tester and hope it's working also I didn't test the old ones yet so I'm gonna do that first oh, fucking piece of shit this is infuriating but okay next okay so I got one of the old ones soldered in and well let's see the one one is this one it says there might be no connection should be so let's see <coughs> can you see anything testing testing resistor yeah same result between pin two and three there's a resistor and the other one doesn't do anything so that is a broken part so replacing them could help and yeah we're gonna see what's going to happen when we plug that in and I hope it's not going to explode because that would be kind of shitty. Okay, you see it's plugged in and it hasn't exploded yet, which is good. Um, also, I test everything off cam before I show it to you because, yeah, that's it's kind of an annoying process because I have to use the auto transformer to ramp up the voltage, uh, use this thing. Uh, the thing you know that's uh, showing me the voltage all in line um, <clears throat> just to uh, make sure that there's no sudden power surge and everything's exploding um, but yeah it works but there's a thing uh, let me turn on the heater okay you see the heater leds on What's the temperature? It's staying at 29 degrees. And I can tell you it has not 29 degrees in here. And this is not 29 degrees either. That's like 50, 60, I don't know. More. A lot more than 29. So, yeah. We fixed the switch mode power supply by replacing the transistors. 
but the thing measuring the temperature doesn't work anymore. So, yeah, I have to take it apart again. <laughs> um, crap. Well, actually, I don't know. Should I, should I go through the trouble and fix this? Because who the hell knows how accurate that is at all? Um, because this is... I never really verified the temperature coming out of here, and also it, it never really worked that well, I must say. But I think the thermocouple... Can you see this? Oh my god, I should not... Uh, point the heating, heated air in the camera here. No, it's cooler. But the temperature sometimes varies. If I switch on the heater again, no. Okay, it doesn't vary at all. Okay, just randomly going up and down. So I guess there's an open connection. Let's hold this closer to the lamp here. Yeah, no, no interference. No, nothing. Okay, I don't know where it's coming from. It sometimes shows up to 31. Um, but yeah, it's just wearing all the time. So I guess there's just a loose connection to the thing. So yeah, I gotta take it apart again. But it works. The fan works. Um, yeah. We repaired it. I repaired it. Yay! Very nice. Can you touch this without burning myself? Okay. So. Maybe I've spotted this thing. It's a blue glass. No, it's it's a glass with a blue liquid in it. Um, which is a solution of copper sulfate. Um, that's CuSO4 or something like that. Um, which is usually used to... Um, kill al algae in a pool but that's not what I'm using it for you see there's a copper cable hanging into it and my uh, soldering iron holder is over it um, yeah I, I complained about this thing um, and I decided it, because it didn't take copper any uh, copper uh, solder anymore which is kind of stupid when you have a soldering tip that does not take a single bit of solder and maybe in the middle which is where you just don't need it. You need it at the tip or at the, the blade end at here. So, yeah, I experimented with this thing. So maybe you can see it already. Yeah, you can probably not see it. Like, it has a slightly copper, coppery color to it on the blade face. Um, but that was like... Well, it, it took me a while to get that. And the reason for that is, um, well, you see the voltage here, 0.3 of a volt. I first tried it with, I think, 2 volts. It turned black, okay. Then I tried it with 5 volts, well, turned black too. 20 volts, turned black immediately. The black stuff just fell off. I uh, let it run and we can kind of see down there in the middle is a black spot which is the black stuff that came off of it <laughs> so every time I put it in the thing uh, like even with just with just one milliamp um, <clears throat> uh, so with one milliamp flowing or even less I don't know um, yeah it just turned black which is bad so I googled a bit and it turns out that it's not the amperage that's um, important, it's the fucking voltage. Um, and in this case, well, I don't have a super sophisticated uh, electroplating bath here now. That's just water out of the tap with copper sulfate in it, which is like, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's, it's bad, yeah. Basically, usually you have to put some uh, some acids in there too, which I don't have, and some other chemicals, which I don't have too, and I don't want to buy them. I just want to get a bit of copper onto some surface. Um, yeah, I, I didn't just buy that thing just for this. No, I tried to copper plate things before and it didn't work too. 
but now I found a post about how the copper ions can't carry a higher voltage difference or voltage potential difference which uh, kind of explained to me why the fuck it was just going black all the time also I see my table is uh, slightly coming apart that's bad <laughs> yeah I guess I might have to <laughs> fix that at some point oh well I'm just gonna use it till it falls apart this thing was like 30 37 euros I guess a square meter or one meter was 37 euros so this was like a hundred the whole thing but eh. you, I guess I can afford that every few years and the next one I will also put a bigger uh, a bit more um, what do you call it not spray paint <laughs> the the translucent translucent is it translucent yeah, the stuff you put on wood to preserve it. Um, yeah, this one has suffered quite a bit from working on it. Uh, but yeah, we got this because um, normal wood like this is just as expensive. So why the fuck would you buy this thing if you could have this? <clears throat> so now I have a pretty uh, working surface. But yeah, back to re electroplating. I'm going to do this live now, which is kind of unfortunate for the viewer because it will take a while. So I'm gonna. Yep. Oh, good. Can you even see this? No, you can't. Okay, I'm gonna just attach this to here. Give it a little wipe off camera just to make sure that there is no contamination on there. Um, and now I'm going to put it in here. Um, so I have to put the camera down again. Can you? Yeah, you know, you should be able to see this. So I'm going to put it in. And that's it. And now we wait. <laughs> um, okay, so you see nothing is happening right now. Um, also no current flowing, no visible one. We're just gonna let it sit there and wait. This is going to take ages because it's, uh, well, I mean, it's rather close to the electrode. Let's push it a bit closer. Um, maybe, you can, maybe you can see it here. I don't know. Um, yeah. So this is now sitting in there, and because of the little voltage difference, there will be copper deposited on this thing within 10 minutes or so. Um, at least a very thin layer. And I think I'm plugging the microphone of the camera with my finger. God dang it. Okay, so I'm going to let this run. And then I'm going to show you uh, the results. I hope. Okay, who would have guessed? It just took like a minute or so to get this. Um, you're seeing the blade is now slightly copper colored, so I'm just gonna leave it in there for much longer and hope I get a decent copper buildup so the fucking tip will uh, take uh, some solder again. Because I guess copper should be pretty good at taking solder and don't just oxidize and <laughs> not take solder anymore. Because my dad has a soldering iron which has a pure copper tip and it's still taking solar even without a regulated heating and I don't know 40 years later or something so must be good stuff okay so I'm gonna put this big in and yeah I'm gonna take a look at it in, yeah I guess tomorrow because it's quite late and I'm just gonna let it sit there and <laughs> I will probably wake up to a blob of solder but a, a blob of copper but I can still just um, take away the copper. I have a file, I have sandpaper, but I guess the buildup won't be too big. Okay, so we will see each other tomorrow. So, <clears throat> do you see that copper colored stuff? Do you see how it's not everywhere? And do you see you can just wipe it off. 
Oh god dang it. And we're so happy that it worked. That it at least was copper colored, but yeah, I can just take off every bit of it. Nothing of it sticks to the thing. <sighs> I mean, there's a tiny bit of copper on here that doesn't immediately come off. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the bath overnight. <laughs> and, well, we'll see how it looks tomorrow. So, yesterday, uh, before going to sleep, I took a look at my electoral plating experiment. And I just took it out and let it there to dry. So, yeah, you see there's like a shit ton of... Uh, of copper on there so let's see if it's magically um, solid this time so I can just take it off yeah it's just it's just crumbling oh would be so cool though if that just worked but yeah I heard something about, or read something about, uh, basically steel or something not being able to uh, take copper because uh, copper is too, ah, uh, god dang it, I don't know the word in English, but yeah, because copper isn't like such a worthless <laughs> material, uh, precious, yeah, right, uh, copper is too precious to be just simply electroplated onto steel or whatever this is, I, I wonder why the fuck, that, that should be just iron, but yeah, it's probably the same thing, um, yeah, it's not precious enough, uh, this, the steel or iron or whatever this is made of, and you would need some acid baths to actually electroplate this, um, but yeah, hmm, <laughs> so, fail, but I'm gonna put it back in the iron and see if it works, okay, so I got the soldering iron here, which is making funny noises because there's still water in the tip, it seems, or at least a bit, let's see if it now takes solder, yeah, not a single fucking bit. <laughs> this side. Nah, nothing. <laughs> Can I maybe pick up the solder blob? Nope. Yeah, so this tip is fucked. Let's get a new one. No, oh, I'm still filming. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh well. Or did I just start filming while changing the tip? Being stupid and didn't record. Yeah, I don't know. So if I if it isn't on video, um, the old tip's fucked. Let's see how this one performs. It's gonna take a while though to heat up. <sighs> Come on, please. Just. Oh yeah, it's melting. Yep. That's how you take solder. <laughs> Pretty easy. Okay, 
So now that that's working again, I hope at least for a bit longer. God dang! Why does this have such a stupid angle? Stop tipping over! This is God. Just just garbage in this shop. Okay, so yeah, electroplating, total failure. Maybe I shouldn't touch fucking solder tips that just came freshly from the fucking iron. God dang it. Yeah, that's it for today. Bye.